Mr. Rishi, because we have four amazing guests on set right now. Exactly. <laughs> this is amazing. I'm standing here and I'm smiling because we have uh, Chanel Osborne, education officer, and Kimberly Hawaii, education officer, both of the Emperor Valley Zoo. And we have two extra special guests this morning. Uh, Kimberly, can you tell me the guest, the other guest that the we have? Yeah. Right. So this is Carrot. Carrot is a green wing macaw. And that is Sunny. Sunny is a blue and gold macaw. Wow. And, and they are both ah. from the Emperor Valley Zoo. Right, they are. So, so they are two of our animal ambassadors. Oh, and, and ah. if I say hello, would, would, would this one say hello? He usually does. Hello. 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 Hi. Hi. Hello. 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 I, I don't think they want to hello. say hello, hello to me. And ah. They, they're saying hello. something. <laughs> Lisa, come, carry say hello. hello and see if they say hello. Hello. Let me, let me jump in a little bit closer. Hello. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and they're eating uh. birds. Okay, so these sunflower seeds are treats that we give them. So you see, is that parrots, parrots and birds don't necessarily talk. They will mimic. So when they want to make a noise or make a sound, whatever sound or noise you teach them, they will learn to say that. Ah. So sometimes when he wants to, he'll say hello. We can't necessarily make him say it. Ah. They, they, they so the macaw birds. is part of the parrot family, how does it work? Correct, yeah. yeah. So they are all, macaws are parrots, mm -hmm. but uh, not all parrots are macaws, etc. Okay. So the parrot is the family of, and then the macaw is a subspecies in that family. Yeah. How, how do you care for them? Right, so with them, because they are the animal ambassadors, they are a little different. We would do our general feeding and cleaning, etc. But we spend a lot of time with them, so we spend time bonding with them, working with them. That's why they're so comfortable spending time with ah. us and being outside, so that way you can see them up close, and that way you get to learn a little more about these birds. Th does it hurt when they're near? Mm -hmm. No, he's actually very gentle. He's just resting his foot on me. He's not grabbing ah. in. They are very strong. If he wants to grab, yes, but is he that normally does that. Train the animal to do. Normally, if they're very comfortable, that they would do it on their own. So we don't necessarily have to teach them not to, but they get used to it. And, and I'm looking at this one. I, I don't know. I, I feel like if I go too close to them, they'll just attack me. <laughs> <laughs> but but they're nice, right? Yes. They're nice. Very docile. But and um, yeah. aren't you afraid that he might do do on you? <laughs> <laughs> I was all part of the job. It's <laughs> really? Yeah. So they've done it before? Yes. Yeah. 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 That's very brave. Definitely. But, but these birds, not any and everybody can have them. No. Yeah. They are very, very sensitive, and, and um, they're one of those you have to get a special permit for. Mm -hmm. That's correct. If, okay. if I put my hands next to them, Bo would they Shigo. attack I'm, me? I'm pulling away. <laughs> would they? <laughs> He'll be gentle, but he might get scared as well. Probably. Yeah. I think I'm more yeah, scared I, 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 <laughs> I don't think you should do that next day. He goes flying all over the studio. Exactly. And it becomes exactly. a problem. They, they are, are, are really, really nice. But what, what's, uh, is there any special ah. treatment that you have to give to them? You mentioned... Um, you know, you spend a lot of time with them, but right. in terms of other treatment that you would have to give ah. to them? Other treatment in terms of... Care. Care, okay, well, ah. we would get their regular upkeep, so they get vitamins, they would go to the vet, the vet does their regular check on them. So we would do ah. some of those things with them. Uh, Lisa, Lisa, would you like to come closer? <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, Lisa is scared of that. Nah. We are all just right scared of these, of these birds. I am not an animal person. <laughs> really? Yeah, you go that way. Yeah. This one seems a bit more relaxed. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I my question is, is, you know, these animals would be in the wild ordinarily. Mm -hmm. Is it different because they are at the zoo and in a cage? Would they be mm -hmm. reacting differently to humans, for example? Yes, they would. So a wild animal will never react the same way as an animal that's mm -hmm. grown up or born in captivity. Mm -hmm. So we can, once in captivity, are more accustomed to people. So they would be less stressed. They don't get as antsy. They're not as excitable as a wild bird would be. Mm -hmm. I, I and do the colors signify mm. like male, female, or anything actually, like no, that? No, in terms of the colors, no, the colors don't necessarily tell you. We actually have to do DNA testing ah. in order really? to tell if it's a male or female. Oh, really? So I can't okay. tell if we're looking at him. Ah. This one, we have to actually check. We haven't oh, checked really? as yet. Oh, okay. Ah. Oh, and this the one. same with this one, we have to mm -hmm. check as well. Oh, how old are they? Sun ah. is about two years. Two? Yeah, oh, he's about two years. years. Parrot will be five this year. He is actually a rescued animal. A uh, ah. first citizen found him and they brought oh. him into the zoo, so he's now grown up. Ah. With us. And, and that is uh, something that I wanted to ask about. Um, mm -hmm. These animals, because ah. they are, are protected, yes. um, if we see them somewhere, mm -hmm. what, what do we do? Yeah, so if you see them somewhere, usually I would tell people don't necessarily try to approach because you're not sure ah. if you might alarm the bird or frighten mm -hmm. it away. 
-hmm. So what you can do, actually call the zoo. Our hotline is always open. It's 800 for a zoo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can always call us, and one of our ah. zookeepers would be on hand to come and receive or try and secure the animal. Ah. How many macaws do you have at the zoo? Macaws, we probably have... Ah. Maybe close to 100 macaws. Really? really? Wow. Yeah, a lot of them. That is a lot. So. A lot, a lot of them. So, <laughs> so for you ladies, do you all just say about the birds or you all do like everything? <laughs> everything. <laughs> the lions <laughs> as well? <laughs> oh, no, yeah. not the lions. <laughs> Sometimes. 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 No, we do a bit of everything. As the education officers, we <laughs> have to work with all of the animals. That mm -hmm. way we get, we get accustomed to us. We get to <laughs> a little more. Uh, Yes, so right now he's grooming and cleaning. That's what he's doing. Ah, he's cleaning ah, his feathers. It's earlier that um, ah. people need a permit to have these animals. If we, this for instance, uh, we see someone with the animal and we suspect they may, they may be someone who has mm -hmm. these animals illegally. What do we do as right. citizens? So what you can do is I would advise you. I mean, if it's someone you know, I would advise you to speak to them first. Just right. try and do this the least invasive way and natural. So you talk to that person and ask them, well, you know, do you have your permit? I recommend you get a permit right. from the forestry division. They can go in and apply. So that is what I would tell them, recommend for them to do. I mean, if otherwise, you can call the Wildlife Division of Forestry and report such case. And if you observe, probably, mm -hmm. abuse of animals. Right. So again, I would say to call the Wildlife Division of Forestry and let them know that this is what you're seeing. And they would try to, they were the authority on that. They right. would try to assist you. You know what I like about birds, um, especially? Mm -hmm. You get to see how reality influences art. Mm -hmm. So when you look at the birds and you, s and you think carnival, mm -hmm. yeah. you actually <laughs> see the, you know, how yes. it's <laughs> replicated in carnival with the feathers and mm -hmm. the plumes and so on. Yes, they are absolutely I'm gorgeous yeah. creatures. Mm -hmm. What I'm fascinated about is mm -hmm. that you said that this one was rescued from right. the wild. Right. How, how do you train a bird yeah. to, to be so you know, like this. Right. Domicile. Yeah. Well, again, this is what we call science. We spend a lot of time with them. It's called conditioning or operant conditioning. So we have to yes, spend yeah. that time feeding, correct. So we have mm -hmm. to spend that time working with them, feeding them. I think I spent the first week just literally sitting next to them and talking to them. Just really? for him to get accustomed to me and hear the sound of my voice. So, but also, he was very young when we got him. We yeah. estimated him to be about a year old or a little bit less than that. Mm. Do you have a special relationship with all the animals that you take care of then? <laughs> you know, if you spend time talking to them and I so on. Well, clearly, yeah. they're they, they, they gold and blue like you. They do bond. Yeah. Really? They do bond with the person. And I wish she's been trying to get this one to doesn't want to come out I am so happy yeah. because yeah. I don't want any excitement this morning. <laughs> 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 I've got all the birds flying all over the place. Oh my ah. word. I'm so really? jealous here now. Really? Oh my god, this good is boy, so Karen. cool. Hello. That's a photo up right boy. there. Hello. Look at you. That is a photo is up <laughs> right there. <laughs> like, this is like a <laughs> selfie <laughs> moment right here. Yeah. Hello. I wish I could get you a <laughs> selfie. You are so nice. <laughs> 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 would you really like to go sweet. home with me? Can I have a. Are you going uh, home? Um, well, after the show. You want to Do you have any more. Any more seeds? Yeah, can I feed him? If he bites me. No, he won't. He loves these. Rishi, oh. look to camera. Oh. I'm so getting you on camera right now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Listen. There we go. Selfie moment. This is, so this is a and pretend and selfie. And, <laughs> and he is just going at it there. There you go. I, I think Carrie's getting Carrie, are you jealous? A little bit jealous. You, you want to try? What's that? You yeah, I want to try. Oh, sorry, he's okay. eating. We can't give him a Okay, we can't interrupt his interrupt. Yes, we can't interrupt his Exactly, exactly. Or they don't like when they interrupt. No, you see, sunflower seeds are treats, and so we don't feed them. It says their main diet. They get fruits and vegetables, so this is like snack time for him. So he's going to wait till you all are finished. Okay, there is one more. Yeah, one more seed. Yeah, there is one more. There you know, it's actually possible to do that as a human. No, that's like enough. We're done. We're done. We have no more. He's like, I'm gonna check through. Oh, without you. oh, oh he's checking. Oh. He's checking oh. pictures. <laughs> this is so now it's done. Right, there's no more sweetheart. You can just move your hand. Okay. There you go. This is fantastic. Hello. Oh wow. Hello. <laughs> you Hello. So I, I better leave you with TTT. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. They are so nice. I, is, is that one jealous? Possibly. Honey, I want to see Carrie. Would hold you like him. to hold him? Carrie, yes. <laughs> okay. Come on, you to go over. Come on. Ah. You're going to carry. Come on. Yay! Hello. 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 Would you come by me? Hi, Karen. Karen. <laughs> no, I think this one is scared. No, Sunny's son, son a little younger, so he's not as accustomed as Carrot. Carrot here has been to at least 50 schools in the last two years. Wow. So, wow. so he's That's met amazing. anywhere upward of 12,000 kids. Wow. How does it so feel on fun. your hand? 
you know, I feel like this thing has the power to puncture <laughs> a vessel, <laughs> yeah. but, but they have restraint. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Although you can you can That's see the, the mark. Yeah, but yeah, it's very slight. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. nothing to but talk about. Is he gripping your hand? No. No, no he's just resting, like resting it right there. Very gentle. Oh, okay. Yeah. Boy. I can just feel the first. shifting of the weight as he tries yes, to keep balance. To I, I think well, we're probably worse than the school children. A lot of excitement here. It's week. It's just the beginning, though, because every day you guys are going to be bringing us different animals. Uh, no lions, no tigers, so no, no, we no. all good. No giraffes. <laughs> no giraffes. You have to go to the zoo for that. Yeah. But I want to thank you very much. We're going to see you tomorrow. And we we're not going to say what you bring. It's going to be a surprise every, every day. Time. Every day it's going to wow. be a surprise I, here. I, I, yeah. I'm really looking forward to it. Well, I have a fear of snakes as I was telling Lisa. So. But you, you held a snake already. Yeah. It's me conquering my fear. I'm, not, I'm just going to be here. Okay, guys? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to take in a few messages. And when we come back, it's top of the hour with the news with Dion Batiz. Mm -hmm. Okay.